Light them if you got them. Hi YouTubers, Geezer here. Welcome back. This time we're going to see what we can do about getting all the classy's lights working, the exterior lights. Uh, a couple weeks ago when I had classy parked in the apartment parking lot overnight uh, before I took her to the brake shop, I went out with the camera, turned on the lights and went around and made a little video so I could see uh, what condition the lights were in and there were several of them out so I uh, pulled one of the bulbs out and uh, they're uh, number 193 on the marker lights I looked around town to uh, find replacements and everywhere I looked they were they were about 250 a piece and I, I needed several so I went online to my old buddy Amazon and uh, I found these. That's a 10 pack. That 10 pack was six bucks and uh, I combined it with a, a few other things that we needed to get the free shipping. So that made them 60 cents. Uh, just a tip. It always pays to shop around. It used to be at least if it's not still a law that if you have an external light fixture it has to light uh, or you can get a ticket uh, I'm not sure if that's still the case or not but uh, I just want them all to work anyway so let's get started I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing and uh, we'll see what the end result is before we get started uh, I did want to show you this um, after I reviewed that night video to see what lights were out I, uh, I made myself kind of a crude little road map here so uh, when I worked on these in the daytime I'd be able to figure out which ones were out so I don't have to go around and look at each and every one of them I already know which ones were having a problem speaking of problems somebody's decided to mow their grass so I apologize for that noise but you know guy's got to do what he's got to do Okay, this is the uh, right rear marker light. You can see, hopefully you can see, on this side it's lit up, on this side it's not. So let's see if we can get that working. These are real easy to get off, just stick a little flat screwdriver in there and open it up. This one's actually missing a bulb. Maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Just grab the new bulb. Let's see what we get. Just like that. Take the cover and snap it right back on there. Done deal. I'll go ahead around and uh, do all of them this way and I'll get back with you in a couple minutes. Well I got all the uh, marker clearance lights working. It took seven bulbs to get them all working. Uh, I'd show you the end result but it's it's too light. Uh, even I just with the naked eye I can't see them from any distance at all so I'm sure you can't. Just trust me that they're all working now. Uh, so I'm going to change cameras and do something a little different. Uh, I got a, a tail light to work on too. So let's dig into that and see what we find. I wanted to use my Nikon for this because uh, it's got a playback on it. The GoPro does not. Um, and there wouldn't be any purpose in, in the, even doing this if I can't see what's going on. But I've taken the lens covers off of the left side because as far as I know it works and uh, we'll take a look at that and make sure that those lights are working okay Okay, 
those lights seem to be just fine. Now we'll go over on the right side, which I, I believe to have a problem, take the lenses off of there. And uh, what I'll do is take the good bulbs, the bulbs I know are good, from the left side, put them in the right side, and we'll check that out and uh, see if they work on that side. Just as I suspected, those work just fine on that side. So what I've got is some bulb problems. And that should be fairly easy to fix. Well, that about does it for today. I'm going to stop off at the auto parts store on the way home. Pick up bulbs. And I'll, I'll come out here again tomorrow and put the new bulbs in. Make sure everything works. And uh, we'll call the lights a, a done deal. And then uh, while I'm out here, I've got some custom vinyl decals that I made. Uh, I haven't personalized uh, Classy at all, uh, you know, as far as myself. So that should be a fun day. Give her a whole new look, new personality the day after, which will be Wednesday. Uh, that'll be battery day. We'll go get a new house battery for Class E and, and get the 12 volt system up and running. And then the day following, we're going to load her up and take her to a local campground, put it all together and, and see what we've got, make a list of what needs to be done yet, and uh, then we'll have only a week to uh, finish preparation for the bucket list expedition. That's right, it's two weeks from today we take off. So. If you haven't subscribed, this would be a good time to do it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of videos coming at you real fast here. From the entire Geezer gang, until next time, happy trails. Mm -hmm.